Hey Starlings, Vanessa Montgomery from Astro All Stars here and I'm going to read you a blog I've written which was commissioned by lunasparkling.com on the new moon in Aries which also has an eclipse on the 8th of April in the US and that's the 9th of April here in Australia. So this one's quite potent for the US because it's, I think it's around two, it's just after lunch during the day, full solar eclipse lights out and it's, uh, the eclipse path is across a lot of the US. You'll be able to see it. So definitely get out there and see it. Australia, you won't get to see it because it's 4.21 a.m. <laughs> so the saying, oh, and it's also conjunct Chiron. So we'll get to that. The saying, you've got to feel it to heal it, applies to this month's new moon in individualist Aries. Aries, known as the warrior and pioneer, embodies headstrong, independent, assertive, me-first energy, traits that women are often socialized to repress or not identify with, instead seeking externally in others, usually uh, men, males. Aries champions the self, advocating for self-determination and self-actualization. Embracing and healing these aspects of yourself is key during this lunation. Don't seek it in someone else. The Nike slogan, just do it, epitomizes the Aries ethos. This sign prioritizes haste over hesitation, leaping before looking. Picture yourself at the starting block with your engine ignited and your foot pressing the accelerator to the floor. You want your hand off the brake and on the steering wheel of your life. Aries ignites with an initial blast of energy, passion and drive. Embrace this fire and honour your instinct to pursue your goals. Your goals. Aries, symbolised by the ram, charges forward with a headfirst dash, occasionally resulting in clashes, <laughs> dash and clash, to overcome obstacles. For those born under the ram, upsetting the faint of heart with their single-minded vision is par for the course. Imagine the force required to ram through a castle door or any obstacle in your path. Embrace this concept As you navigate this season, remember, you'll never know unless you try, so give it your best and run, don't walk. Aries embodies fearlessness, getting dirty, greasy and picking up burrs and scrapes along the way. This energy isn't genteel like a tea party or a respectable negotiation, attributes often associated with the opposite sign Libra. Rather, it's the fire, determination and push of new life. If you've ever witnessed or given birth to life, you'll understand. As new moons herald the birth of a new cycle, this one carries the seeds of a potent new beginning. With Mercury retrograde and a solar eclipse, a reset or a distinctly new chapter may unfold. Watch for a messenger or message from the past, a mentor or a guide. Perhaps it's a version of yourself that you once needed. Now able to show up for yourself and others. Here's a couple of mottos. I easily assert myself in ways others positively respond to. I go after what I want and am all in. I easily carve my own path in a way that energizes and accelerates my success and self-determination. So I also add some journal prompts and new moon ritual prompts. So you'll have to check out lunasparkling.com to find those. They haven't actually been posting them lately. So, uh, But head over and check out their products. They're very beautiful and they're made here in Australia in Victoria. Very interesting Uh, now age, new age products, uh, sparkling drinks and very healthy. So this conjunction with Chiron plus an eclipse, uh, they're all together exactly. So Chiron is exactly with the sun, moon and Chiron all together, like merged. The north node is in there as well in orb and in Aries and Mercury retrogrades also in there in Aries in the mix. So 
Very interesting. And I wonder if part of this is, uh, you know, there is that war fatigue, war is heck. And I think we're all really realizing that no one is a winner and there's a lot of losers and it's a lot of suffering. So I really hope there's some kind of critical mass happens with just saying no. And I think it's really interesting the eclipse goes across America at this time. But so there's those two things. I do really think part of it is also um, in terms of uh, women with that Aries archetype is really healing that and embracing and integrating it and um, being able to see that in other women, those Aries traits, being able to see it in yourself and loving it and thinking it's a great thing and a positive thing and not feeling perhaps like you don't fit in, which is very Chironic. Um, some of the themes around Chiron is an initial abandonment, uh, fostering and mentoring. The pitfall is that you may often be abandoning yourself. And as someone with moon conjunct Chiron exactly in Aries natally, uh, what I've come to, how I've come to deal with that is that I will notice those feelings surfacing and I'll see where I am actually abandoning myself and I'll step back from doing that. It's just about having consciousness around what's happening. And I'll just be like, oh, there's that feeling there it is that's it and maybe an external experience um, does reflect that and someone is abandoning you but you don't have to then take that abandonment and you know uh, magnify it or internalize it you just be like well that's that's their prerogative and oh there's that feeling yeah that hurts but don't make it reflect on yourself uh, anything negative. Don't make a story up around it. It's that kind of thing. It's a very interesting <laughs> moon Chiron in Aries. And um, yeah, collectively, we're going to get a little taste of that. So let's go for collective healing as well. I would love to know how this pans out for you, what you've seen in the buildup and how you experience it so please do feel free in the comments to comment and share or to dm me i'd love to know you can also schedule in for your own one-to-one -one reading or learn more with my books um star power cosmic power and astro power there's three and you will love them they are very fun very informative and i've got five planets in sagittarius so they're pretty funny as well i've woven a bit of humor in so have a great week have a great month and stay cosmic